Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in Information Theory and Coding. In today's tutorial, we'll talk about trellis diagram which is used to find code word for a message in convolution encoder. We have a convolution encoder here with us which has three flip-flops, it's basically a shift register the discussion on convolution encoder and state diagram, state transition diagram has already been done. So uh, that being said, this convolution encoder, which is pretty simple, has three flip flops. M2 is accepting the message signal, message streams. For example, we send a message 1101. This message goes into M2, M1 and M0 are the previous states and the output X1, X2 which will form the code is uh, M0 X or M1 for X1 and M1 X or M2 for X2. Now, based upon this hardware and what we need to fill now, by the way, the state 00 of M0 and M1, I'll label it as A and this state as B, this is C and this is D and this, this will stay our present input. So what is happening is when the state of these two flip flop is zero zero and I give a zero here, my x1 output will be zero, x2 will also be zero. So in other words, if we give a zero when the previous state is zero zero, we'll get a code word which is zero zero. And that is how code words are generated. They're pretty dynamic in nature, which we have discussed. Uh, already so I'm gonna quickly fill this table up so this is how you do it simple XOR operation Once we are done with the state transition table, the next step is to draw the state transition diagram, which is where we need to take utmost care because based upon that state transition diagram, we'll draw our trellis diagram. So I have my A state. B state C is 1 0 and D is 1 1 and of course I'll, I'll follow the same rule if I give an input 0 I can stay on my same state or I can you know, jump lower and if I give a 1 input I can stay on the same state or I can jump higher so this simple rule will help me so when I give a 0 while my state is 0 0 I get an output 0 0 and I choose to stay at the same state when I give a 1 while I am at 0 0 state I get an output 0 1 and I jump to a higher state while I am at state B if I give a 0, I get an output 1, 1 and I stay at the same state which is C. C is by the way, uh, same level states. And when I give a 1 while I am at B, I get an output 1, 0. And now when at C, when I give an input 0 my output is 1 0 and I jump lower to state A and when I give 1 I stay on the same state go to B and my output is 1 1 
and for d when i give a zero i go to a lower state c and i get an output zero one and when i give a one while i am at d i get an output zero zero and i stay in the same state so this is going to be my state transition diagram which will be used to formulate my trellis diagram so the starting point of trellis diagram is is drawing uh, all the states all the possible states so what i have here is i've drawn a b c and d and as we move forward uh, these will start to have subscripts a naught a1 b naught b1 etc and so on now the starting point is this node a now what happens is we need to see that when we give a zero while we are at state a which is of course zero zero what happens so what i'll do is i'll i'll use a color code that when i'll give a zero my state changes to a or it does not change to a so i remain at the state a when i give a zero which is represented by this red line and i get an output zero zero however when i give a one my state goes to b now this this is where the state transition diagram helps me so i go to state b when i give a one so i'll not write zero here and a one here as inputs just in this case uh, i'll not put a slash here these colors will tell me what is zero and what is one as input and this dot will tell me my state however i need to write the output here which is zero one like this so again <clears throat> when i go to next state which again remains a if i give a zero i stay the same however if i am at state b and if i give a zero i move down to state c or move up to state c so a zero which is represented by red color by the way so from b if i give a zero i go to state c which should be shown like this and my output is 1 1 and if i give a 1 from b i go to state d so that will be shown as this and i get an output 1 0 so similarly while at c if i give uh, obviously if i give a 0 i go down to state a so that will be represented by this and my output will be one zero and if i give a one which is represented by red uh, green color i go to state b so like this and my output will be one one now we are left with d so this is where d features for the first time so when i am at d if i give a one uh, i'm sorry uh, first we need to take care of zero i go to c and my output is zero one from d if i give one i stay in the same state and one is represented using green color so i stay on the same state and now you can extrapolate this thing if you are at uh, the state a and if you give a zero again you'll get a zero and so on 
and if you are in state A and if you give a 1 you will go to state B so again this is going to be repetitional stuff from B if you uh, from B as you can see if you give a 0 you go to C so that will happen all the time so again you go to C and C and from B if you give a 1 you go to D that will happen all the time and from C if you give a 0 you go to A so that will happen and if you give a 1 you go to B and from D if you give a 0 you go to C give a 1 you get a and of course with all these uh, transition changes you you can write the outputs here and from D when we give a 1 we stay at 0 0 and from D 0 1 and this is going to be 1 1 and from B if we give a 1 we go down to state D and the output is 1 0 so we've missed out on this output so we need to write all the outputs here like this and similarly while we are at C if we give a 0 the output is 1 0 so we need to write 1 0 here also so I guess uh, more or less this is how you need to extend the table um, but this table is super easy to draw you simply move from one state to the other and from moving from one state to the other you only have two options either you give a 0 or a 1 as inputs so for both the inputs you need to write the uh, shown in the state transition diagram so this is the trellis diagram and now once you draw the trellis diagram after that it becomes super easy to draw the uh, code for a message for example if we send a message 1101 to this encoder we simply need to trace the path 1101 so tracing the path 1 1 and 0 1 is uh, starting from here we give a 1 which is represented using green then again 1 which is representing using green then from this node we go give a 0 which is represented using red and then again a 1 which is represented using green so this dotted path gives me uh, my code word for message 1101 so my code word will be all the outputs on this dotted path so code word for 1101 message is 01 then 10 then 01 and 11 so once this diagram is completed I could uh, find out code word for any message in a jiffy for example this let's try this so one again following the same path for zero I go to I do not select this green path now I go to red path zero again red and one again green so following this path will give me the code for 1001 so the code word becomes 01 then 11 then 10 and then 01 so the code word for message 1001 code word is this and that's it this is how easy uh, it is to 
find the code word for a convolution in Coda once the trellis diagram is completely drawn up. And this diagram is not difficult to draw once the state transition diagram is drawn correctly. And I hope this tutorial was of help. If you liked the content of this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, that will be a great help. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.